What's up you guys and welcome to the internet. So today I thought I would sit down on this hot sunny summer day and show you guys what I am planning on reading for the upcoming 7 in 7 readathon that starts this following Monday, um, as in tomorrow. <laughs> so I am normally garbage at doing readathons. I have the best intentions and the worst execution. So I thought for this one, I would try and hold myself accountable by one, filming a TV TBR, and two, be able to try and maybe daily vlog, if not just do like a full vlogging video for you guys to watch and see, because this is actually a pretty busy slash exciting week for me. Uh, I leave in about a week and a half to go get on a plane to go to Thailand. So this week is going to be a bit nuts because I have to get ready for that. I actually am going to a concert Tuesday night to go see Jesse McCartney, which is going to be really fun. So I'll probably try and film that. Um, but it's going to be yeah, kind of a crazy week. So this is probably not a good week to be doing a readathon. That being said, I'm going to give it my best darndest try. Um, but all of that being said, I wanted to show you guys what I plan on reading this week. So as you guys know, with typical readathons, there's typically certain challenges for each um, readathon to complete that you have to do. Um, there are seven in this one per the seven in seven challenge. Um, first of all, being read seven things is the first challenge. So I was a bit ambitious and decided to pick up eight things to read because I'm apparently crazy. One is kind of like a quick middle grade read that I think I could probably sit down and knock out in an afternoon, less than an hour, so I'm not too worried about that. And that one actually is The Lottie Project by Jacqueline Wilson. I just recently started getting back into reading super old middle grade books that I used to read as a kid just for purely nostalgic reasons. And this one was one I remember reading in like middle school, elementary school. And I found it online, picked it up, had to read it, and I just haven't had a chance to get to it yet. I've kind of started it, as you can see, I think I am like 30, yeah, 30 pages into it. So I thought I could knock this out as part of it. And this one technically would qualify as like yellow on the cover, I guess technically with the gold, but I'm keeping this um, as just a separate one to read before I leave for Thailand. So that's what that one is. Next, one of the challenges is to read a book that takes place outside. Uh, so for that one, I picked up Wanderlust by Jen Malone. And so this one is again, another one I've picked up a while ago and that's just been on my TBR for a super long time. It's a travel book. I thought to get me in the mood before leaving to go to Thailand, this would be a perfect one to read. Um, and I just, I can't wait to read it. It just looks super cute and fluffy contemporary. So that is for this one. The next challenge is to read something with yellow on the cover. And for this one, I picked up Girls in White Dresses. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there is yellow on the cover with the yellow roses and some of the yellow spots that might be a little hard to see. Um, but this one is essentially about three girls that are friends and that are kind of in a wedding, I think, together and are all getting married. Um, yeah, so everybody they know is getting married. So it felt like very fitting for me. I'm 25. Everybody I know is getting married right now. Um, so I thought this one would be a cute kind of fluffy contemporary. I also borrowed this for my friend, I think, over a year ago, and I still haven't read it. So I need to read this to give it back to her. Next, so one of the challenges is to read just seven things in total. So for my one kind of filler book, I picked up Return to Paradise. Oh, look at that cover. Uh, Return to Paradise, which is by Simone Eccles. Eagles? Eccles? Um, this author I love. She wrote The Perfect Chemistry tril Trilogy. She's written a bunch of very good, fluffy contemporary books that I love. This is actually a sequel. Uh, the first one I believe is called, oh yeah, Leaving Paradise. So this is the sequel that I've wanted to pick up and read for forever. It's pretty short. I think it's about 300 pages. Yeah, about 285. So I thought I would pick this up, fly through it pretty quick. I can usually read her books pretty quickly. So I thought this would be a good one to read because I knew I'd fly through it. Next one is to pick up is to read a book that's based in your town, country, 
home area and this one I picked up for was Molly's Game. This one takes place in Hollywood which I did actually live in for a little while but in basically based in California where I live so I thought that one would be a really good one to pick up. Again it's pretty short. The font is a little small so we'll see how quick I can get through this but I was super interested in reading this. Again it's one that I've been interested in for a while and just haven't had the chance to pick up. And I really wanted to see the movie after I read the book, so I figured this would be good to read. Okay, moving right along. The next one is an, a little bit of an interesting challenge that I was kind of interpreting my own way. So that was read a book and then make a food kind of based around it or inspired by it. It's a little confusing, but for that one, I kind of went a little bit out of the comfort zone with that one and picked up the fairest of what is this one fairest of them all I think or fairest fairest essentially it's the uh, evil queen from Snow White it's her story so I thought I would pick this up maybe read it and then eat some apples while, while I was eating it that's kind of the vibe I was going as far as food goes um, so this is another one I wanted to read for a while it seems very like not middle grade but kind of like fluffy middle grade story kind of vibes um, about the evil queen and her like backstory and yeah it just seemed really interesting seemed really cute and again a pretty quick read okay so for this next one the sixth challenge sixth challenge is to read something out of your comfort zone so for that one I picked up the sonnets by William Shakespeare I have been trying this year to read more uh, classics or just like well-praised, kind of traditionally loved books. Obviously William Shakespeare goes without saying. So this I picked up, this gorgeous edition of the sonnets by him, it just, ugh, oh, look how beautiful that is. And it seems like a pretty quick read in theory, but I kind of want to go through it and take my time a little bit to actually like absorb it. Um, but this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, not something I typically pick up, but I thought this would be a good one to read for the readathon because it is so short and beautiful. Okay, and the last challenge, challenge number seven for the seven and seven readathon is to read something that starts with your first initial, which is T for me, for Taylor. And for that one, I picked up another classic and that was Beauty and the Beast by who's Gabrielle Suzanne Barbot de Villanelli. I know I completely butchered that, apologies. Um, so to be completely honest, I don't know if this is the original author of Beauty and the Beast or if this is more of like a, a contemporary version. To be con uh, completely honest, I'm not sure. I picked this actually up from Book Outlet months ago and just, again, haven't had a chance to get to it. But this is a beautiful edition that just has like these interactive pieces in it. It just looks so pretty and it's got gorgeous illustrations. It seems like a pretty quick read given even with the size. I mean, it's a children's fairy tale classic. So I thought this would be a good one to pick up. As I'm now saying this, I am gonna look and see if this is the original author or I'm sure you guys can let me know down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I just, again, wanted to read this. Thought it would be a really pretty easy read to go through through for the readathon, hence Beauty and the Beast. All right, so that is all of the things I'm going to be attempting to read during the 7 and 7 readathon. It starts this Monday, July 23rd and goes through the 29th, that following Sunday. So yeah, I will try and be vlogging for you guys. I will be working Monday through Friday, so those will probably be shorter clips of vlogs, just more updates for you guys. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to see more from me, and I will see you in my next one.